One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Our basic one, two, three, five, turn, five, six, seven. Turn and cross her arm across her legs in her elbow. One, two, the elbow, three, tap. Everyone's just doing a basic here. We're going to now throw the elbow, but with the intention for her to also do a hip movement. So it comes up with your body, gentlemen, so ladies are going to respond by coming up as well. And then come down, and as you come down, you throw the arm with energy and cycle back up. That movement by itself. You're going to prep up, down, change, up, and collect. Prep up, throw downwards, drop five, six, collect. Your first is left hand, so you want to bring your arm back to it. You're going to do a half basic. One, two, stretch your left side, gentlemen. And ladies, you respond by also shaping the same way, stretch your right. So this is nice and slow. From here, you're sweeping down. One, two. I switch my hands up underneath the elbow. Three, I prepare. Four, I stretch. Now that stretch is precisely what tells my partner I don't want you to, to do a normal turn. I want you to start doing something that involves body movement, central the chest. He's, active, um, he's activating your chest, ladies. And the other thing to note is that his grip changes to be on your arm. He's drawing attention to that, which means the next things you're going to do are probably going to involve your body following your arm. Four. I'm going to firstly bend the elbow. Without moving the elbow closer to her, ladies, make sure you're holding your shoulder down, don't let the frame collapse. Bend the elbow, bring it in between the two of you. See, we start the beginnings of a body roll. Except that, now we're going to carry on that movement. Five, six. Bring it up above her head so that the ladies feel that they have to arch upwards. And around. Seven and eight. With timing, smoothly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ladies, you're stepping through with your basic foot, uh, basic weight changes. Four, step on the left. Five, you're tilting up. Six, and then you're, as, you, as you pivot around, close seven, and your chest is going to start to lead the next movement. Seven, and you come up. Eight, tapping your right foot. In terms of the movement here, it's going to start sideways. Flip, so that you're now front. Pull your chest up, up, and then I'm going to pivot, over pivot so you can see me from the side. I'm going to over pivot here, and then you're going to go down with the chest, seven, and when he starts to bring you up, you invert the movement, and the chest first, head last. For the gentleman, in terms of where your hands go, what's very important is when you dive down, you want to first control the elbows turned in. That will start to curve the lady's body inwards. My body is following my arms. He's starting to bring it in. I'm starting to movement with my chest inwards. Note that I have to do the same movement. If you don't move, it's free. Yeah. It's like, should I be? Should I not be? You go together with her. I am also almost doing a body movement. 
when you slide this hand in between, use your right hand as a guide. Your right hand should already be in between the two of you. Yes. Bring your left hand underneath your right hand. If you pull her here, she will fall towards you. If you pull her there, you'll, she'll fall away from you. Try to keep it in between the two of you and then bring both arms up together. Really, you, my chest is following the arms like arch. You'll find at this point, gentlemen, you can take your right hand and bring it closer to your left shoulder. So you see, because Emma is very responsive, that movement alone already starts turning her to pivot. Ladies, right step on the very last foot. Now here, gentlemen, I do not bring my arm down. If I bring my arm down, this is what happens. Only one half of the lady moves. You really need to plie, bend both of your knees. If you remove the ladies from this equation, your left hand must be parallel to the ground. Otherwise, she's going to have a big problem after this. So she's up here. Because she has an open chest, she goes down chest first. Seven. Following the arm. You stop, and when you bring her up, you straighten your knees. Either slowly, maybe to follow this timing, or with intention, where you prepare her with energy, and... Uh, Stand up strong.